Hello. Yes, this is Craig Johnson of Cornwall's premier family theatre company, Squashbox, who wants to know? <gasps> Your Majesty, it's the King of Cornwall. How can I be of service? You wish me to make a short film celebrating the history and legacy of Cornish Hedges. Yeah, yes, I, I see. You're entrusting me with the task of making Cornish Hedges interesting. Well, have no fear, your pastiness. You've come to the right person. <laughs> now, uh, let's talk money, shall we? Hello? Hello? The King of Cornwall has given me a mission to put Cornish Hedges on the map. Mission accepted. Here I go. <laughs> what? is a Cornish hedge. After weeks of painstaking and lonely research, I can finally tell you, this is a Cornish hedge. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's not a hedge, it's a wall. Ah, but it's not a wall. It's completely different to a wall. It's a Cornish hedge. No, 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 no. A hedge is made out of leaves and bushes and shrubs and things. Ah, you're thinking of a hedgerow like this one. Yes, a hedgerow is made out of leaves and bushes and shrubbery, but a Cornish hedge is made out of stone. And granted, a wall is also made out of stone, but a wall is not a Cornish hedge, and a Cornish hedge is not a wall or a hedgerow. Got it? Oh yes, thank you. That's cleared everything up. Goodbye. So there we are. A Cornish hedge is not a wall and a hedgerow is not a Cornish hedge. Still confused? Not for long. Cornish hedges are a ubiquitous feature of the Cornish countryside. From Sancreed to Zena, from Pendine to Penzance, you'll find them everywhere. In fact, Cornish hedges are so much a part of the landscape, they can sometimes seem invisible. But once you notice them, you'll start seeing them everywhere. You see them snaking across fields, running through villages, lining the sides of roads. Some of them are really old. Some are brand new. Some are huge. And some are tiny. In some of them, the stones are very neat. And in some of them, the stones seem quite random. And lots of them are hidden beneath plants and undergrowth. But look carefully and you'll find a Cornish hedge. They're unique, they're iconic, they're beautiful. But why are they there? Cornish hedges have been around almost as long as people have lived in Cornwall. The first ones were built during the Stone Age. Others were built in medieval times. Some were made by miners during the Industrial Revolution. Lots were built by farmers in the Victorian Age. And quite a few are brand new, built by today's master hedges. You'll find Cornish hedges everywhere. On moors, fields, hilltops, woodlands and valleys. All in all, there are over 30 thousand miles of Cornish hedges in Cornwall today. All Cornish hedges were built for a reason and the main reason was to be a barrier to stake out your little piece of land to keep the things you like inside like sheep and cows and crops and the things you don't like outside like wild animals and nosy neighbours. They also helped stop flooding, prevent soil erosion and make a lovely sheltered spot for a picnic. This one even doubled up as a shelter for pigs. It's often hard to say exactly how old a Cornish hedge is, but there are some clues. These hedges are from the Bronze Age. That means they're about 4,000 years old and they're still standing. These hedges are older than Stonehenge. They're older than the pyramids. And they're still there, doing the job they were built for. In fact, they are one of the oldest man-made objects in the world, still being used for their original purpose. 
we can see that the hedges from those ancient times were built to enclose very small rounded fields. Remember, all the work had to be done by hand, so it made sense to keep things small. And there were no machines to help lift up the stones, and they're very, very heavy. Often, if a stone was too big to be moved, they just built the hedge around it. Over the years, a lot of these ancient hedges have been removed by farmers to make the fields bigger. Those that do remain often have bends and wiggles and kinks in them, and this shows where the other hedges used to be. In the Middle Ages, fields were divided up into very narrow strips called stitches. They had long straight sides and curved ends to make it easy to turn the ox plough around. These hedges were built by miners in the 19th century using waste rock from Giva Mine. There was so much stone available to build the hedges, they ended up being huge. Do you have a Cornish hedge that needs dating? Unsure whether your Cornish hedge is prehistoric, medieval, post-medieval or modern? Look no further. With our state-of-the-art Cornish hedge age assessment procedure, we will roughly estimate the age of your Cornish hedge. Very old. Quite old. Brand new. Newish. Call today. Phone lines are open now. Hello, Cornish Hedge Dated Agency. How can I be of service? I beg your pardon? No, I'm sorry. It's not that sort of dating agency. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Wherever you go in Cornwall, you'll find stone. So if you're looking for material to build something with, it's the obvious choice. It's right there in front of you, so you might as well use it. Every Cornish hedge is built out of earth and stone. That's it. No cement or mortar is used like you would if you were building a wall. Here is Master Hedger Jago Pemberthy to explain the building process. Uh, first off, you should lay your ground is five feet apart. Five feet apart, my dear. Make sure you send a slab, my dear. Like the tell you of it. Then you the fill course and level up the gaps and you the pet down with soil. Nice and damn. Do be mindful of your batter and make sure he curve in nice. So quarter I need the seventh of the base and two nights when he do be halfway. Be mindful of your batter. And then you do finish over the edges and make sure your base width be twice the top. And he's over your edger. And he's eye the base at ground level. Then you do top on. Top, top, top. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Got that? First of all, really big stones or grounders are placed at the bottom. And then, as more stones are built up on each side, the space between them is packed with damp subsoil. The stones get smaller as the hedge gets higher until it reaches a level where neat rows of square stones called edges are put in place. And the hedge is topped off with thick pieces of turf or tobs. The hedge is built so that the sides have an inward curve like the sides of a lighthouse. This is called the butter and it makes the hedge very strong and long lasting. Building new hedges and repairing existing ones is a skilled craft and there are several professional hedgers in Cornwall, many of them belonging to the Guild of Cornish Hedgers. <laughs> Cornish Hedge is a haven for nature, providing a home for plants, flowers, birds, animals and insects. Over 200 different species of flower were counted in just one mile of ordinary roadside Cornish Hedge. Each Cornish Hedge is its own mini ecosystem. Bluebells, campion, foxgloves and ferns grow at the bottom of the hedge and in the gaps between the stones. Moss and lichen nestle in crevices. Blackthorn, gorse and hawthorn spring from the top and the sides. Robins, thrushes, blackbirds perch on top. Crows and buzzards circle overhead. You might see rabbits frolicking nearby. Hedgehogs hunting slugs and snails among the grounders. 
frogs and toads in the damp grass, field mice and voles finding homes between the stones, spiders making webs in the gaps, and bees and butterflies are drawn to the many flowers. You could think of a Cornish hedge as a wildlife reservoir, a little island of biodiversity in the middle of a field, meeting up with other Cornish hedges and forming wildlife corridors that crisscross the Cornish landscape. Hello, Cornish Hedge Dating Agency. How can I be of service? Mother, I told you not to ring me at work. Yes, I'm very busy. Yes, yeah, steak and kidney pie would be lovely. Yeah, I'll be home about five. Goodbye, Mummy. So there we are. You may not have noticed them before today. You may not have ever thought about them. You might not have even known they existed, but Cornish hedges are important. They are precious historical monuments. They're archeological treasure troves. They're irreplaceable sanctuaries for wildlife and an iconic part of Cornwall's landscape, history and heritage. So here's to the humble Cornish hedge. They may just look like unassuming little stone walls, but they carry the weight of Cornwall's history on their broad little shoulders. So you're pleased with the film? Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> well, it was an honour. Uh, Colonel Biswicken to you, Your Majesty. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait a minute. King of Cornwall? Well, I should have worn my suit. <laughs>